Hey, what's up? This is Chaturra from NDVFX and uh, in this video we are going to take a look at how to record a new audio file inside Adobe Audition. There are two methods. Uh, we can directly record into a multi-track session or we can record a new audio file as an individual file inside the waveform editor. So let's take a look at uh, those two methods. If you haven't subscribed to AntiVFX, uh, please subscribe to AntiVFX and uh, we really appreciate it and we will be continuing this uh, tutorial series. So, why we need to record audio inside Adobe Audition? For example, we need to do a voiceover or we need to do a narration. We can easily create that kind of uh, audio inside uh, Audition. In order to record a new audio file, you can use this uh, new file option you get three options new audio file new multi-track session and uh, new cd layout i have set my keyboard shortcut to control n but the uh, default shortcut is different you can change the audition keyboard shortcuts go to uh, edit uh, keyboard shortcuts and here you can uh, type you can create this is the default structure but uh, you can create a custom uh, keyboard layout based on your requirements so you can search uh, record start recording uh, sorry record new audio uh, or new audio file you can click on this and the default shortcut is control shift n or something like that but it's uh, hard uh, but the control n is very convenient to record a new audio file because we frequently record the new audio files so i recommend you to change this shortcut to control n you can click on it and close this and you can type the whatever keyboard shortcut which is easier for you and save it as a custom layout so you can easily switch between these uh, keyboard shortcut layouts layouts uh, based on your work so that's an uh, extra trick so go to file new audio file or control n and it will pop up this uh, new audio file dialog box you can give a name right so let's type uh, trailer voiceover you can uh, it is a uh, very important to uh, naming the audio file because when you work on multiple files and in, when you work on a complex project it can be difficult to manage the project uh, if you didn't uh, Put the names uh, at the, from the beginning because uh, it's a very good practice uh, do the work and do the work uh, in a very organized manner that will make your workflow much easier the next option is sample rate uh, the sample rate you know that uh, audio is a fluctuation of the air and the sample rate is how many samples capture per second right so you can see frequency is uh, how many frequencies uh, that is vibrating the air for a second and the sample rate is how much uh, how many samples uh, does the audio uh, does the microphone capture per second so 48 uh, kilohertz uh, 48 kilohertz uh, it's uh, it's a very good sample rate and very uh, most of the people use uh, for videos the higher the sample rate the higher the quality and the it will also be uh, the higher file size because it capture more samples per second if you want to do advanced type of thing you can go to 96 uh, kilohertz uh, sample rate and it will generate larger file but uh, it's a very good practice uh, normally people use uh, 44 kilohertz for the cd quality work and 48 kilohertz for video works and you can select uh, channels whether you want to record as a mono file or stereo file you can select that and then the next option is uh, bit depth so bit depth is the same as the sample rate the higher the bit depth the higher the quality and it will increase the file size too uh, always go for the 32 bit float and uh, that means uh, how many bits per per, uh, per second to uh, store audio data so if you store more data uh, for a second uh, that means uh, you get a higher quality audio file so always better to use a 32 bit float because uh, we want to get uh, higher quality audio recording and click ok now you can see the traveler the trailer voiceover and you can see a asterisk mark that means uh, we haven't saved the file yet this is an uh, indicator that the file haven't uh, the file hasn't uh, saved yet uh, 
once we finish the recording we must save the file so in order to start the recording you must set up your microphone go to edit and preferences and go to uh, audio hardware uh, this dialog box option uh, can be different based on your audio configuration in here the important thing is uh, default in input you must uh, select uh, your microphone here the default input and the next option is uh, default output if you want to monitor your audio while recording uh, you can uh, turn on uh, you this is the default uh, playback uh, speaker and we can select the playback speakers uh, what we want and uh, when you select that uh, it is important to uh, select a sample rate uh, that's uh, that is default with your sound card uh, because otherwise uh, audition try to uh, resample your audio recording and uh, it may uh, it is uh, hard for the software to uh, resample the uh, audio so normally we get the audio card uh, with uh, 48 kilohertz uh, sample rate and uh, it's a very good idea to record at uh, 48 uh, kilohertz okay right click ok and now we are going to begin the recording in order to start the recording you can see here uh, record uh, option you can use the shift space shortcut if you cannot see this uh, icon you can go to window and transport uh, controller options uh, here you can see transport uh, these this is the place that we can see all the recording options so go to the playhead at the beginning and click on uh, recording all right guys now we are recording audio inside adobe audition and be aware that your audio level is not peaking right so your audio when you recording audio it shouldn't go f uh, above zero decibel or you uh, you must adjust the microphone gain settings and uh, the distance to make your audio is not too loud to stop the recording and go to stop option here right so now just to be recorded a new audio file and you can see uh, when you can play that again so your audio when you recording audio it shouldn't go about you can see now we just recorded a stereo audio file and this is the audio file we just recorded before we do anything else uh, we can go to file and uh, save or control s uh, you can we can save this audio file into a location uh, where we need right so here you can select a file name and you can select a location uh, for the audio file and uh, we can select the format in here it is always a very good idea to save this file as an uncompressed format like waveform editor or the aif if you're on mac so these are uncompressed audio formats because it ha it saves with a lot of details and we can easy we can use uh, these uh, files to re-edit and do some modifications to these files because it contain a lot of details but if you uh, save it as a mp3 format or other windows media audio format uh, it will compress the audio file those uh, file formats are used uh, when we want to export the final mix uh, and when you are ready to publish those files it is always a good practice to save these files as a waveform if you're on windows right so that that uh, keep the best quality now uh, you can have option to include markers and other metadata if you have included some markers inside uh, you are recorded file uh, it will save the these markers too you can import this audio file to any other uh, software and you can see the markers in that uh, software too i click ok now the that uh, asterisk mark uh, has disappeared that means this audio file has been saved now uh, we can uh, do the editing process uh, because we just uh, finished the recording inside uh, adobe audition